Welcome to another Flames of War Classics box set video, folks. This one's a bit different. I'm not actually going to show you the painting of this because there's very many similarities to other box sets that I've done so far. But I'm going to talk about the box set in detail because there are a few issues. First of all, folks, if you're wondering what the hell's going on with the uniforms, these are for a Luftwaffe Field Division Hermann Goring um, Division project that I'm doing for somebody. That's why they're blue, but that's another story. I'll leave him aside just now, but I'll come back to him. So, these are one of my favourite, real favourite box sets. One of the first ones I painted. They really are nice. I mean, look at all the, the detail on the, uh, the dug in positions, even like the wicker to hold uh, the earth in place, the discarded shells, boxes, all kind of things. They're just great. But, you know, the, the design process for figures, you know, things get scaled down. I'm assuming this happens with Flames of War 2. Maybe not. But this base is a little bit too small. Nothing matches up. The ruts for the wheels are too narrow. The holes for the spades are uh, too far in. And the... Uh, slots for the figures are all too small. So it's like it's been shrunk down. And I'm going to show you what I mean by placing some large bases. Just line them up nice and neat. So you can see these large bases are wider than these guns. If you take one of these guns and, and put it on, you know, you can see it should be a shadow, you know, it should look like Like that. Clearly doesn't. So that means you have to address a few issues. First of all, you need to trim the bases or the tabs of the crew. So I, I give them a really good trim. And uh, you might find this, mm, that it's a bit tricky. And you have to keep nicking away, nicking away until you get one that will fit. When I... Um, Get a fit, I would do my utmost to keep that figure with that base because they're all a bit different and one figure that you've trimmed may fit on one base but it won't fit on the other base. So it's quite tricky. And you want to be trimming before you're cut, uh, painting because if you haven't uh, put all that force into chewing up uh, the bases of the figures after you've painted them you're quite possibly going to cause a bit of damage. Now the guns themselves, as I said, you're not going to fit them into the the wheel ruts. You're not going to fit the spades into their holes. So what I've done is, using Vallejo Earth Effects, I'll just get it down. You've probably seen me using this before, but I've used that to attach the guns to the bases. Um, you can't see it on the wheels, but they're actually sunk into... Uh, Excuse me, they're sunk into lumps of this stuff. Let me see, you can see a bit on that one. It's a bit messy, but you know, these guns are going to be rocking back and forward in mud. And I've also got, it probably won't come over in the camera, but as much as I can on the inside of the wheels too. And that's going to grip to the base and grip to the, the wheels. And then the spades, I've got them into the surface of the base using the Vallejo Earth Effects once again so they're really nice and secure. So there's a couple of tricky things you just have to watch out for folks just to get a great result you know I mean they are a brilliant box set and one other thing uh, this box set is getting used very very much so for version 4 it's not being like I'm doing with mine being kept as part of a collection. 
So all the parts have been used as much as possible um, for the games. So I've been asked to make a, a, a objective marker using the staff team and also used a little Kubo wagon from the set because there's two Kubo wagons and get this lovely little objective marker it looks really nice it's a good addition to the collection in itself and you see I've used a bit of green stuff to put some repair patches on the, um, the cover there, the tarpaulin cover that's just a nice wee simple touch just to make it look a bit more unique so there you go folks, it's a um, fantastic box set it has its quirks I think in the design process shrunk it down a bit too much and they're kind of stuck with it now it's been moulded that way every single one I've done has been been the same so there you go 10.5cm artillery box set get one when you can use it like this for version 4 or paint it up for your collection I've got uh, quite a lot of these classic box sets, box sets that we do including the 15 centimeter artillery box set which I really really like so stay tuned to this playlist and to the channel and I'll see you on the next one